When I look at someone's claim, someone's injury, and I start to think about how it's valued, I typically tell clients there are multiple phases or multiple things that we have to think about. First, we look at the nature of the accident, just what type of accident occurred. If it's something that is pretty significant, then we take the, the next step in that process and ask what type of injuries were suffered. Were they muscular injuries, fairly minor injuries, or something more consequential? Was there a broken bone? Was surgery needed? Do we have a, a, a loss of income? Do we have outstanding medical bills? All of these factors build upon one another. So it's really the, the nature of the accident, what type of injuries have been suffered, what type of medical treatment is going to be needed to attend to those injuries, how long will that medical treatment take? And the real X factor in, in most every case is, and then how does all of that affect the person? Uh, how has it impacted that person's life? I often think that if, if a father is in an accident and the injuries prevent the father from participating in his daughter's wedding, well, that's a pretty dramatic consequence, but that's unique to that individual. So it's not just the accident and the injuries, it's something that's specific to the person who is injured and to that person's life.